colors. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a 1v1. This is an Age of Empires 2 1v1 on a map prairie between two pro players who are against each other here, but they're actually on the same clan. We have Lan, who's won the first two games quite comfortably. In the blue, he's playing as the Mayans. And then we have Eddie in the red, and Eddie is playing as the Mongols. This is a best of five, which is part of the qualifiers for Noe's Apartment 2 Cup, which is an exciting event coming in late January, early February. And I will be there. I will be there. So, what's different about this map? Well, first of all, players start with two scouts, which is very good for Eddie, as Mongols have the scouting bonus. It's very open, as you can see. Uh, there is one boar, and there's some deer around the TC. Another good thing for Eddie. There's golds, there's stones, there's very little wood lines. So, aggression, aggression, aggression. And I think that if I'm Eddie, I make sure I take advantage of your early game bonuses. Eddie has two scouts, which are faster than the eagles. Eddie has the scouting bonus. Eddie has the hunting bonus. He has to make something work for him in early feudal. Otherwise, I think mine just gets stronger and stronger on this map. Because we'll probably never see Mangadai for the, uh, for the Mongols. And even if Mangadai are created, of course, mines have eagles and mines have plumed archers, which will kill the Mangadai. So it's got to be Feudal and Castle Age win. Or Dark Age, maybe, <laughs> for Eddie. <laughs> Though I doubt it. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen a Dark Age victory. Well, I shouldn't say never. Very rarely do you see a game end at Dark Age at this level in a tournament. Mr. Junior Hope, what's up, man? A full year. Love you, T90, and love your stream. Thank you, man. Thank you. I love you as well. Thank you for a whole year. Seriously. Anyone who can deal with me for a whole year... Oh! I thought Eddie was going to lose that, Phil. <laughs> Anyone who can can uh, put up with me for a whole year deserves some love. I'll tell you that much. So looking at Land's base... This is, this is pretty good considering how open the map is. Eddie's base is also pretty good because he has two wood lines that he can wall in towards his town center with, and then he has a safe gold. So I guess looking at it, both have really good maps. This map is super open, but look, this gold can be used and walled in. This stone can be used and walled in. Multiple wood line options. So I think with a little bit of walling, a little bit of house walling, this would be a good situation for both. Hey, question. Why no grid? Just for casting purposes. Yeah, Feta, Feta, I don't use the grid mod. It can be helpful, but I don't use it because I want it to be as clean as possible. I want it to look as original as possible when I'm casting games. I also don't use it when I play, but that's just because I, it would be annoying for me to toggle it on and off. Because you guys know I'd probably forget, so... Grid, grid is a helpful mod if you play the game, though. It can be really nice. Will Eddie click up? He has his mill. He has his lumber camp. I think after this vill, he can drop off some food. Oh, yeah. There's tons of food here. And boom, he'll click up to Feudal Age. Okay, so this is where Eddie needs to do something. He has two scouts. He still does not know where his opponent is. His opponent could be to the west, the east... Could be anywhere. The south, the north, of course. And I think Eddie's going to go to the east, not to the south, because he just saw Blue's Eagles. And he also sees this gold, so he might be thinking, okay, there's gold here. My opponent has to be around. In fact, what he does now is he loops back home, and he loops back home because he wants to bring in this extra boar. Interesting. And there's a few of them around. There's, there's more boar and more deer to be had. These eagles can fight the scouts in Dark Age and win. However, nice block from Eddie. Whoa! The scouts just went right through the boar. What was that? <laughs> Whoa, he did it again! Why Why are the scouts going through the boar? Round three. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Why? I feel so bad for Eddie. I feel so bad for Eddie, he was trying to block the boar so his vill wouldn't receive hits, and now Lan comes in, and he's going to kill the vill. Uh, Eddie, of course, can chase down these eagles. That's so weird. I'm going to need a clip on that. 
I guess I've never seen players try and block with two scouts. Normally players will try and block with one. Uh, Eddie needs to chase down these eagles while he can. He'll kill this one. He will kill this one. And he is making scouts, I assume. He's working on it, yeah. And he will have the extra food income. So he he stopped chasing this eagle, which was a bit peculiar. What's the plan for land here? You know, what's interesting is land hasn't walled near to the level that I'd like. I think he bought himself a lot of time there to wall here, to here, to wall like this, wall here easily, and then build his ranges on the front. And now Eddie's here already. Land, of course, will start with spears, but land's not on gold. So I don't know what the play is as Mayans besides just defensive play with spears. Maybe land will opt for more economy and play defensively and hope to push out soon enough. K Bomb says, T90, I'm a YouTube fan. Wanted to ask you whether you had thought of doing what Mem does and adding fill filler to the end of the video so your audience doesn't know when it ends and that's the results. Uh, K Bomb, thought about it and I will not do that. Just simply put. The reason. I won't do that is because a I would never be as popular as I am on YouTube if I did that someone who's coming who's new to Age of Empires 2 and if they see something like that they're gonna be so confused um, there that's also why I don't upload whole sets of series sometimes because it's just not how you grow a YouTube channel and also if you want to see if as this villager is just walled in here and land is going for stone walls if you want to see things unspoilered I recommend watching on the Twitch Pass broadcast because it's already the full VOD there. Uh, it's not just the length of the video like it would be on YouTube. So there's a few reasons. A reason because it wouldn't grow the channel. It would hurt the channel's growth. It would hurt the production quality of the YouTube channel. And also there are alternatives with watching on the past broadcast. Eddie, as I said, needs to kill villagers. He needs to do damage and he will kill her. Good job. And he sees his opponent is going for a massive amount of stone walls. So... Really interesting decision here from Lan. Lan's trying to wall this whole map and take the blue pill. There's a reason we pay him the big bucks. He's spamming the T90 wall emote, as everyone should be. In <laughs> uh, before all my mods get start freaking out because they're not paid. <laughs> it's alright, blue pill blue pill is, is not paid. All, all my mods are just here for fun, just like the viewers are. Eddie killed another vill in the woodline. Can he kill a vill in the stone? No, he has some weak scouts now. I just, you know, it's it's a bold play. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it if it pays off. Imagine if Eddie would have added some archers. Even now, if Eddie had two to three archers, he could kill all the spears, and then his scouts could kill the bills. But Eddie did not add an archer range. And he's just going to let this happen, I assume. Uh, of course, he... He still has quite a bit of time until land full walls his base, but I don't think you want to give Mongols time here. Or not Mongols, sorry, Mayans. I don't think this is the play for Eddie if he wants to win this game. And this is the play for Lan. This is the play for Lan. If he can get the walls up, get the plumed archers, he will be much better than Mongols. Much better than Mongols. Oh, this is going to be funny. The wolf is going to attack the spear. Oh, it's going to attack the villager. I wonder if Eddie can kill her now. Probably not, because there's two spearmen. Uh, yeah. Eddie just has to let it happen. Man was saying, don't fight it, man. Don't fight it. Just, just let it happen. Just let it happen. And he's fat slobbed his base. He has fat slobbed his base, only it's with Mayans. Stone walls everywhere. Lan will probably be later to Castle Age, but he has the, the walls to give him time. Eddie clicks up. Eddie still has time to do some type of damage here, but what will the decision be? Will he go forward with the Siege Workshop? Maybe pressure the weak areas in the wall, where the house and the barracks are? We'll find out soon enough. So yeah, I hope that explanation makes sense. Uh, I think maybe one of the 
the alternatives would be having a separate YouTube channel and have a T90 official VODs YouTube channel. But things get really complicated. Uh, things get incredibly complicated, actually, because uploading to separate YouTube channels is just more work for myself. Um, and then again, you know, everything's still here on Twitch. So it'd be doing extra work for what is, in my view, nothing. I will say that the video on Twitch is not as good as YouTube. So for many people, because the ISP restrictions, the quality is just better for them on YouTube. Also, people like to speed up the, the video when they watch it on uh, YouTube. Actually, I think Twitch is allowed. Twitch allows that now. I'm fairly certain Twitch has a way when watching past broadcasts to speed it up. But for some people, the Twitch videos just don't load as, as good as YouTube. So that'd be the only reason. So Eddie has this villager here. And he has to be careful with him because he could get T90 wooed. And it, man, if Lan would have spotted that, he could have actually come in here and killed the Vill. But he doesn't know it's there. Lan will be in Castle Age, and when he's in Castle Age, he will build a castle and go for plumes. And he'll probably build the castle in the front to protect his gold. And Eddie. Just weird play. He has to build the blacksmith because he forgot it. This is looking very good for Lan yet again here. Twitch crashes more when alt tapping. Yeah, it does. It does. Twitch is making good money now. They need to update their servers. <laughs> Actually, you know what? YouTube, as far as I know, they lose money every year. I don't think YouTube has had many years where, where Google's actually coming coming out on top or, or been in the green. Twitch is in the green. So if I'm Twitch, I don't follow YouTube steps. I try and do things a bit differently. But they really should try and update their servers. I think they've done that in the past. They did that a year or two ago and things really helped and really changed. But servers whatever whatever exactly it is that goes into it um i'd like to see them update it it's always good to to see better quality t90 i'm watching from new zealand so i never usually catch your streams live however I watch all the vods all the time youtube is fine fun even however i mostly vod as it is a more complete experience yeah i think that it definitely feels more live when you're watching the vods i understand that Good to have you here, man. So after all that, Eddie builds a siege workshop and some Maganels. Lan will be on three TCs making plumed archers. With enough plumed archers, the Vills from Eddie will die. With enough plumed archers, even the Maganels from Eddie will die. This is still possible for Eddie because he's actually doing decently with his economy at home. So... I like that. If he can keep their, the Vill counts even and pressure a bit with Mackinels, then maybe. You know, there's this really interesting... There, there's this really interesting situation that, that's going to come in the Imperial Age if we get there. Where Mayans are much stronger in early Imp. But in post-Imp, and I'm talking way, way, way down the road, Mongols are actually better with their Siege. But I just don't think it's reasonable to wait for that point period in time because it takes such a long time of holding on to be that strong as Mongols. But just like last game, you know, Eddie's pressuring TCs. There's actually a hole here. Yeah, there's a hole here. So he ran in with one knight. I don't think the knights that they go in will do too much. But what Lan is trying to... Or what uh, Eddie's trying to do is kill these vills and stop these vills from running and you know what land could lose these villagers these villagers are forced to repair and wow eddie's going to kill these villagers headshot on that group four go down and all of these villagers die and wow what a play from eddie you know at the same time he's being attacked by the plumes this is still not he's not really uh done quite enough yet but if he can defend at home, then maybe this would be a good situation. But you can tell he's not even paying attention to his base, as he loses a few fills here as well. Land will have one shot 
as he loses the siege workshop now. He has one mag in L versus four. So much wasted time already. Someone save me, please. Kappa, still doing a great job, man. T90 love. Second castle will go up for land. I just wonder where he'll build it. You notice how there's no defensive siege workshop for Eddie. So maybe land could go for a ballsy forward castle. I don't think he should do that, but he could. I think he should build the castle here. Maybe delete these farms, build it here. Just to stop his TCs from getting whittled down. These plumed archers are going to kill two villagers. There we go, just like that. And yep, there's the castle for Lan. Uh, nice micro from him. Nice micro from Eddie, of course, as well. I jinx him. Does Eddie see the castles going up? If he does, he could come to the south, but he does know the castle's going up. That's why that position is really good. Look at that. If he knew it was going up, he'd change everything about this. Oh, the land's gonna get one big shot! He kills another one? Is it gonna be enough to hold? Is it gonna be enough to stall? At the same time, he has plumed archers in Eddie's base. Eddie's making a Mackinel. Eddie's Mackinel should clean this up with one shot. But Land's gotten so much value out of these plumes, man. And he splits away from the Maganel as well. So Eddie, he was in the lead. He did have a Vill lead. But now, he only has three villagers more. He kills the plumes. It's just that where do you go from here? Where do you go from here as Mongols? Well... It, it, there, there's. This is where it's a big problem. The only way he can win this now, at least in my opinion, is if he does more eco damage to Blue. That's not possible. That's not possible. Blue already has all of his economy safe here. The other way would be is if he got to post Imperial with Seedram. Then with Seedram and Mangadine, maybe. But he, he doesn't have a castle. He just has TCs. So now Eddie, he can try and push a little bit with these Maganels. But he can't do all that much for the next probably 20 minutes game time. And this gets real difficult. Real difficult for him. As Land will have two Castle Plumed Archer production. The Eagles, of course, can snipe these Mackinels. So again, I think Mongols are a better save if they were to... Uh, if they were to do a 45-minute no-rush game, for example. Like some players do it at lower levels, then... It would be actually doable for Mongols, but Mayans are just stronger in many of the other situations. And we're about to see this here. Nice micro from Eddie. Oh, nice micro from Lan as well. This is a dangerous game to play, my friend. He, I don't think he should be doing that, but this guy has a lot of plumes. Almost lost half of them. I don't think Lan should rush things. Because he needs his military to pressure Eddie. Look at the micro. One Maganel down. Lan now splitting again. He hasn't received a shot to a single plumed archer in the last few moments. Okay, now he loses one. 69 bills for Lan. Eddie's on 80. Eddie. You know, he is on stone, so he has time to build a castle right here in the center. To protect those golds. And Lan might feel like he needs to push out. I'm just surprised that he tried to engage here. Okay, will he build a castle now? Oh, wow. Wow. He's going to build it forward. I thought he would build it here to secure a stone. But he's going to build it forward. If you're going to build it forward, I would build it a bit more forward. Build it right next to the gold and the stone. Oh, not like this. Not like this land. This is a risky game to play. Still not getting any hits in. Oof, that's a good Maganel shot. That's a great Maganel shot from Eddie. Land just buying himself a little bit of time, I suppose. And he's going to click up to the Imperial Age as well. Just distracting his opponent. No, I think 
Funny enough, Eddie will click up to Imp and Eddie will try and build his castle here. And then he'll realize, oh shoot, my opponent already has a castle. Well, we'll see where he places that. It's imperative that Lan keeps his plumes alive and healed up. And these barracks will not be for eagles. At least I don't think so. I assume this will be for halps, but maybe he'll go with, with uh, eagles as well. Yep, look. Look. Eddie wants to build a castle here. And he runs into Blue's castle, and he's thinking, well, geez. At least I'm going to be an imp faster. That's probably what he's thinking. But no, he won't be an imp faster. He'll have more eco. But he'll be forced to go into a treb war. So I'd say Lan has the lead here because of how easy it is for him to transition. Oh, and funny enough, he's going Eagles. Eagles can work as well. Mines are strong with either option. I just thought he would go Halberdiers. But of course your opponent's not making... They're probably not going to go immediately into Hussar or Cavalier, so Halberdiers might not be all that useful. T90, is using Onagers to force enemy vills into more vulnerable, less effective wood sources doable in this map? Well, it's a big investment. So, it was obviously doable today. Eddie did that right here. He denied two wood lines. But, Eddie, in the end, didn't do enough damage. So, I think when you go with Maganels like that, it, it really slows down the start to your economy. So, that's the risk you take. So what's Eddie's decision here? He's making Mangadai. Which will get countered by the Eagles. I mean, yeah. The Eagles will counter them. Plumed Archers could as well, which is why I thought maybe Plumes, but... He'll probably upgrade these Plumes after he upgrades to his Eagles, and we have Trebs now from Lan. And Trebs from Eddie. So we'll have a Treb War on the front. <laughs> these Maganels. I, I just can't help but laugh at how many random Maganels Eddie has had in this series just rolling around. Oh, he meant destroy the wood line with Onagers. Oh, um, well, no, unfortunately, that's a very tough thing to, to, to do at this level. Because if you're already at the wood line with an Onager, you should have an army there to protect it. Onager upgrade for Eddie. So maybe, hey, maybe I'm going to eat my words. Maybe he'll start chopping all of Land's trees. <laughs> nice move from Land to build his barracks in his base. Hide the fact he's going Eagles. Eddie doesn't know about that. Now, if Eddie gets enough Onagers, he can kill the Eagles. There is a possibility, but as you can see, he doesn't have the resources for Siege Onager. He doesn't have the resources for a lot. Oh my god! Oh my god! Lan, where are you going? Lan loses most of his plumed archers, and now he sees his opponent is going Onager, and maybe he did not expect that. So finally, Lan, he overextends. Now, I wonder if Eddie will realize that his opponent's going Eagles because the plumes don't have upgrades yet. It's a small detail, but it's a very important thing to realize. Let's see. Can Eddie give himself more time? He has 40 more population. He has a few more in the way of military. He also has more economy, and he'll kill... He should kill... Oh, wow, he kills one? Can he kill two? Even if he doesn't kill it, he's giving himself time. And he's doing an excellent job scouting for the extra resources on the map. He's also pressuring the gold over here. Eddie could do this. This best of five is not over. The Eagles have yet to fight. And, oh, interesting. Now they do fight. So Eddie will see this. And now he will probably back up a bit. Yep. Because these Eagles... Well, I thought they were going to have Eldorado. Oh, yeah, they do. Eldorado means 100 HP on these Eagle Warriors. Don't go in too far. Don't go in too far with the Eagles. Lands Micro, can he kill the Onagers? He should kill a lot of them here. This is worth it for Lan. That's definitely worth it for him. Look at those Onagers. Those expensive Onagers go down. That's a way to come back into the game. And that's why Mayans are still stronger in this situation. But still, 
35 more villagers for Eddie. Oh, isn't that annoying? These eagles are going into his base. And more eagles are now coming forward. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffles. It is... Um, I got my first cold of the season. <laughs> so, I'm still getting over that. I'm, I'm past my sore throat I had a few days ago, though. These are not elite Mangadai. They're very weak versus these eagles. It's just not good. And now Lan all of a sudden has map control. He's denied the siege workshop now. Yep, he's scouting for the extra resources. This gold, this gold. There's so many golds that he can take to fund his eagles. And still, still, Eddie does not have the economy to, to really push this. He does have two relics, and he could get the third. He's also going for Elite Mangadai, so with Elite Mangadai and Onager, it's possible. He's also on three castles, and Blue is not really pushing the castles. He's not trebbing them down, which is also very difficult to do when Elite Mangadai is upgraded, because Mangadai are mobile, and they can snipe those trebuchets. Eddie has gold here, he has gold here, he has stone here, stone here. And he, he needs to, to react to the raids now. I think it's important, it's imperative, that Land does not wait too long to push. He needs to start taking the castles down. And here he comes. Great game. Great game. I still think mines are better. I do. I still think mines are better right now. But Eddie, he has a great stalling tool in the Mangadai. He doesn't need to win the fights, he just needs to kill the Trebs. And stall. And he's doing it. He's doing it. Still waiting on the chemistry upgrade. Needs that. Uh, I would be careful from Eddie. Three trebuchets, four trebuchets out here on their own. Kind of exposed. It's a bit weird. But he's killing Bills. Seems like Eddie has an advantage. He's been given quite some time to get all his ups. Well, it's, it's getting there. I still wouldn't say he has an advantage. That's a lot of Eagle Warriors. And Eddie will see them. Look, look how many shots these Eagles take. It is insane. And the Eagles come in. They'll go for the trebuchets. One trebuchet down. It will be two at least. And Eddie needs to be very careful with his Mangadai. You know, chemistry's not completed yet. But okay, he's confident enough to take the fight, and Land's actually researching Thumbring, so perhaps he'll mix in the archers. So he'll go with Plumes and Eagles. Plumes are another good option, as I said. Oh, and now Eddie's getting Thumbring, okay. So he has 40 Mangadai. 40 Mangadai. One of the best mobile unique units in the game. They're actually faster than these Eagle Warriors. And this, now I think Eddie has the advantage. I really do. Now I do. But it depends on if he can deal with this. If he loses this castle, the side of his base is wide open. How quickly will Eddie react to this? Because he could snipe the treps. There he goes. And he's building another castle of his own. This castle's gonna die. I think so. It'll, it can receive three more hits. Okay, repairs coming in. Can he kill one? It'll survive these two hits, just barely. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna do this, isn't he? He's gonna kill one treb. Okay. So for now, he's still alive. The plumed archers are just now getting their upgrades. And he needs to kill this treb. I think he can do it. What a clutch play from Eddie. He's building a castle on the front as well. The balls on this guy. That extra stone has helped him out so much. Repair, repair, repair. More and more Mangadai. Rams now being added in. That Treb is pretty much on its own now. I think Eddie is on his way to a victory. But a Lee Plumed Archer coming in for land. Yeah, the Treb goes down. Wow, what a hold. Five castles now for Eddie. Five castles. This castle's in a wonderful position. These trebuchets are going to be walled in, I believe. I think there's a hole here still. 
There's a hole here, and he'd have to wall here, but if he deploys the traps now, I could kill that castle and maybe take these golds away from his opponent. Land needs a pushback. He's a big pushback. Yeah, again, I, I still think there's a hole here, Eddie. <laughs> there's a hole here, and you might want a wall there, but regardless, I don't think Blue can really address this because of how many Magneti are there. Land has resources, guys. Look at his food. Look at his gold. It's not like he doesn't have resources. He just needs... He needs time. As I say that, though, does he need time? <laughs> he doesn't really need time. Eddie, Eddie just gets stronger as time goes on. And this castle will die. So, I still think Onager is difficult to justify. Uh... So, going Rams is probably a wiser decision. Siege Rams, Mangadai, and Hussar for Eddie. However, he has such a large economy, he won't be able to afford much more in t with pop space. But if your opponent's going for Elite Plumes, you might mix in an Onager or two just to hope for a shot. But then again, as you can see, the Elite Plumes, they, they can't kill those capped Rams. Capped Rams act as a huge distraction. And Eddie can take his time now. Look at this. He's getting all the hunts. He's denying the golds. He's building a sixth castle now. And every castle he kills from Lan is a huge, huge bonus for him. And Lan wants to wants to engage this. He'll probably kill the Trebs, but at what cost? That's the question. Because he'll lose quite a few eagles. It's 11.37 p.m. here, and I have to get up at 6 a.m. tomorrow, but I cannot stop watching. Nice move from Eddie to get into the castle, but let's see. He needs Siege Ram. He needs to click the Siege Ram upgrade, and there it is. Lan is... That fight was pretty good for Lan, honestly. He has two relics, by the way. Think with elite plumes and eagles, he could do this. And, and Eddie's building so many forward castles. Now the question is, can Eddie address this? I think it's a risk for Eddie to run forward right now. I really do. Land still has gold coming in. He uh, will probably kill this castle. 68 military for Land and 57 for Eddie. What a game we have here. What a game. Now will Eddie push with Siege Ram? Okay, he's going to attempt it. He's repairing his castle. Remember that one time where his castle stayed up? Let's see if he can do it again. Uh, he'll kill one trebuchet. He'll kill two. He'll probably get all three now. And his castle will stay up. But he lost a lot of Mangadai there. Let's see though. Siege Ram's on front. So the Plumed Archers are not really attacking the Eagles. Or not the... I'm sorry. The, the Plumed Archers are not attacking the Mangadai. But it doesn't really matter. 180 population for, for Eddie. 185 for Lan. And I think Eddie's running out of steam. I really do. He might have one more relic. But mine economy, man. Mine's just... The fact that all resources last 10% longer is such a huge bonus here. And also the plumed archers are so very cheap. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. I think Eddie should be trying to get onager shots now. Just, just one or two onagers. Lan is going into skirms, which is a sign that he doesn't have the gold to make more eagles. So if Eddie can make just a few onagers, it'd be really nice. Also, if he could go... This is just hilarious. <laughs> He's hunting out here. Also, if he could maybe go for some hussars as well, that'd be nice. This is a fight that Lan's going to enjoy. Skirmishers versus Mangadai. He says, thank you very much. I'd gladly kill your gold units. 170 pop for Eddie. 190 for Lan. Lan is holding on and now Eddie's going into skirms. Eddie is in trouble. Also, we have a raid coming in from the side. Lan will go into Eddie's eco. Eddie's eco is kind of a disaster. You know, he doesn't have a lot of farms. He has 26 idols. All of these villagers out here just collecting 140, 300 food at a time? 
That's not a great long-term investment. And I think Land's bringing his back. Best game of the day by far. Fantastic game. We'll have to talk about what Eddie could have done differently after the game. We can talk about what Land could have done differently as well. I still feel like if he would have gone Plumes early in, it would have had a, a greater effect and then transition to Eagles later. But it doesn't matter now. He will kill these castles and he'll get this gold back. So he will get what is close to 2,000 gold back. And he's already winning the fights. We'll see if Eddie, <clears throat> Eddie can hold on. I don't think he can. Economically, he's... He's going to struggle. 40 of his villagers are hunting. And yeah, he calls the GG. He realizes he doesn't have the resources. He realizes his opponent has outpopped him. And that was fantastic game. That was a fantastic game. Also, Eddie was about to lose control of all the wood that he had. Look at the resources for Lan. He has 4,000 wood, 2,000 food, 800 gold, 600 stone. That's before he gets all this gold back. Now look at Eddie. Eddie, he has 1,000 wood, but he has very few lumberjacks. 2,000 food, 500 gold, 16 stone. All of those resources would have gotten chewed up pretty quickly because Eddie would have been making inferior units, right? Hmm. Um. I just wonder if Eddie's focus on this side cost him the game you know on one hand if he didn't push here and he went for land's economy then i think that land would have had the gold to, to hold so i i like the fact that eddie pushed here maybe what eddie should have done is use his hussars he researched light calf you can see now he's getting chain barding he didn't have any numbers of them not that he had pop space for it. <laughs> Honestly, he didn't really have pop space for more numbers. But I'm thinking maybe in that situation, you use your mobility if you're Eddie. You ram down the walls, and then you raid with some Hussar. I think that that's what could change things a bit. Because what Land did is that Land kept a lot of his economy alive. And if he needed gold, he could sell some wood. If he needed gold, he could sell some food. And then, of course, he had the resources to go into trash. Um, yeah, it's complicated. It's complicated. I also think Eddie should have macroed better. His economy should have been better. I, I don't see why you should be doing this. This doesn't make much sense. You should be investing in the farms instead of going out here to the food. I mean, the reason this isn't great long term is because you have to click the vills. So you click them onto a boar. They'll finish that boar in no time because you have a dozen villagers there. And then you have to click them again. And you just can't afford to be doing that when you're fighting. That, though, was an awesome game. That was an awesome game on the map Prairie. That one is definitely YouTube-worthy. And there's the KD. Eddie killed more units. Land just outlasted him. Great stuff. And this is interesting. More food for Lan. More wood for him. Uh, less stone, obviously, because he didn't get that additional stone pile. I think there were two stone piles that were extra that Eddie got. Uh, but more gold for Lan, too. I think Lan is just a better player. Uh, I said so prior to the series, Lan is a really good player. He's he's one of the few players, I think, that could crack into the top 10 if he really tried. So well played to him. Congrats to him on the 3-0 victory.